What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to yet another Pilates meets strength workout. If we've not met before, my name's Margaret. I'm a certified Pilates instructor living in Colorado. Go ahead and grab one medium heavy-ish dumbbell. We're gonna go ahead and jump right into things. We're gonna keep things all the way down on the mat today. No standing work, um, but we'll just go ahead and jump right in with the warm up as we normally do. I want you to come into a comfortable seated position, whatever that's gonna look like for you. Cross-legged, legs out in front of you, maybe in a long frog or a butterfly position. I think that's where I'm gonna head today. Take your hands so they come right to the tops of your legs. We'll take one big roll of the shoulders so you open up through your chest. You let the shoulder blades slide down your back. Crown of the head reaches up towards the ceiling. From here, we'll take four deep cleansing breaths. Big inhale in through your nose and then exhale out through your mouth. Let it go. Good. Three more. Big inhale in and then exhale out. Let it go. Good. This is going to be two. Big inhale and then we'll exhale out. Let it go. Good, this will be our last one. Nice big inhale, fill everything up with air. Good, and then we'll exhale out, let everything go. Good, okay, from right here, take your hands so they come just a little bit behind you. We'll bring the feet down to our mat, and I just want you to drop both of your knees over towards the left. I'm gonna mirror you if you haven't been with me before. We'll exhale, take it up to center, and then inhale, drop both knees over towards the right. Good, exhale up to center, over to the left. We'll exhale up and then take it over towards the right. Good. On that next exhale, go ahead and bring everything right back up through center. We'll come back into that seated position and we're going to reach the arms so they go out in front of us. Big inhale, roll the shoulders down and back. And then we'll exhale, open out through that right arm, rotating open through the chest. We'll exhale to close that right arm right back up. Same thing on the left side, inhaling to open and then exhaling to close. Let's do that two more times. Good, still having even pressure in both of the hips, both of the feet, so as we rotate open, we're pressing down, anchoring down into that opposite hip. Good, one more. And last one. We'll take it back to center, we'll drop that right hand down. You'll give me a big inhale, reach the left arm up and around overhead. Good, bicep by the ear, open up into that space between the ribs. Good, inhale and then exhale. We'll press ourselves up to center. Same thing on the other side, left hand down, right arm up. Nice, big stretch. Good, big inhale, breathe in. Exhale, let it go. And then we'll press ourselves all the way back up to center. We're gonna make our way all the way down onto the mat, grab onto that dumbbell. We'll start in some glute bridges. All right, we've got about 15 seconds right here until my timer goes off. So bring yourself all the way down onto your mat, feet about hips distance apart. We'll take our dumbbell. You're just gonna let it rest onto your hips. We'll press up into that bridge in three, two, and one big exhale, pressing into the heels. We tuck the tailbone under, roll the hips up, inhale at the top, and then exhale, roll it right back down. Good, big exhale, press up, and then inhale, we take it down. Good, every time that you press up, you're pressing down into your heels. We're tucking the tailbone under. This is really a glute and hamstring focused exercise. And in one of our <laughs> workouts in March, I believe, with the resistance band, you're going to see this a uh, little bit more, a little glute bridge ladder if you haven't done that with me before. It's very fun. Good. But I filmed that workout yesterday, so I'm like <laughs> a little bit dead in my hamstrings. But nonetheless, we'll keep on moving. Big exhale, press up. Inhale, exhale, take it right back down. Good. We go up, take it down. Good. All right, we just have five, four, three, two, last one. Take everything down. We're gonna toss that weight off to the side. And now we'll do a single leg bridge. We'll keep the right foot down, lift the left knee so it comes up above the hip, hands down by your sides. We'll take that single leg bridge. We just have five, four, three, two, Last one, big exhale, press down into that right heel, tuck the tailbone under, lift the hips, inhale, and then exhale, take it right back down, tap the tailbone. Big exhale, press up, inhale, exhale, take it down. Good, press up. Good, 
Okay, bridges sometimes can make your hamstrings cramp. So if you get to a point that you start to feel that muscle cramp that you feel like you just cannot continue, that's okay. Listen to your body, bring everything down, hug the knees in, take a moment. That's all right. I don't expect you to push through everything perfectly. It's called a Pilates practice for a reason, right? It's a Pilates practice, not a Pilates perfect. That's like the dumbest joke that I have, but it's true, okay? Good. All right, we just have oh, about five, four, three, two. Last one, take everything down. We're gonna swap out the legs. Left foot goes down, right leg is going to come up. Knee right up above the hip. <sighs> How are you doing so far? I'm doing just okay. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Press down into that left heel, right knee up above the hip. Big exhale, tuck the tailbone under, press up. Inhale and then exhale, roll it right back down. I'm listening to um, Charlie Puth on Spotify. Anyone into Charlie Puth? I go in and out. I have phases of listening to music. The way that I listen to music is I find a song that I like and I just put it on repeat until I can't listen to it anymore. <laughs> um, so <laughs> if you're like that, you let me know in the comments, please. <laughs> um, I went through a big Charlie Puth phase when I was working uh, my corporate job out of college and I was traveling a lot. I made a Charlie Puth playlist and I listened to that um, while I was traveling through Salt Lake. I know, me in a past life, corporate travel job. <laughs> All right, we just have five, four, three, two, last one. Take everything down, come off of that left foot, hug your knees into your chest. Just rock a little bit side to side. Take a deep breath. Next exercise, we're gonna press back up. We're gonna do a shoulder bridge. We'll lift the right leg up. We're gonna lift and lower. Ooh, in three, two, and one. We press ourselves up, shift your weight into your left foot. If you'd like to take your hands to your hips for a little bit of extra support, go for it. Right leg's going to shoot up, point the toe. You'll inhale, drop down. Exhale, lift the leg. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, okay? If you feel like you can take your hands away from your hips, Go for it, take them down towards the mat. Okay, we'll start to feel that left hamstring, left glute lighting up underneath us, that's okay. We're gonna make it, I promise, I promise. Always remember I would never program something that you couldn't do, okay? You're very capable, you're much stronger than you think. Always remember that. That's why I tell you at the end of every class, you're awesome, you can do anything you put your mind to. Lower and lift. Good. Lower and lift. We just have five, four, three, two, last one. Good. Take everything down. Whoa, pull that leg in. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm just going to move my timer in a better spot for me to see. I'm like craning my neck, looking over my shoulder. <laughs> okay. We're doing that same thing on the other side. Right foot goes down. Left leg is going to lower and lift. We have three, two, and one. Okay, big exhale, we press up into that bridge, shift your weight into your right side. If you wanna hold the hips, hold the hips. I'm gonna hold mine, lift the left leg up, point the toe, inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Good, inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Okay, we're pressing down into the backs of the shoulders, pressing down into the triceps, spreading the fingertips out nice and wide, evenly distributing the weight from the fingertips to the knuckles, the heels of the hands, all the way up the back of the arm. Good, lift and lower. You got it, we're more than halfway there. Maybe this side feels a little bit stronger than the other. That's okay, right? I always tell you, there's a reason we do single side work. There is a reason. Lower and lift, you got it. We just have five, four, three, two, and one. Lower all the way down. Oh my gosh. Hug your knees in. Whew. We'll rock a little bit from side to side. Take a deep breath. Okay. Now we're going to do that all again one more time through. 
you can do it, I promise. We'll grab back onto our heavy weight. We take it back into our bridge. This time, bring the feet closer together. Ooh, we have two in one. Ooh, -hoo -hoo. I was not quick enough. I want you to squeeze the legs together, plant the heels down, keep that weight right on top of the hips. Big exhale, squeeze the inner thighs together, press the hips up, inhale, and then exhale, take it right back down. Good, roll it up. Take it right back down. Good. Okay, so a little bit different with the feet close together. I want you to find that connection into the inner thigh, pressing the heels down into the mat, squeezing the ankles together, the calves together, squeezing the inner thighs together. Finding that connection is going to help us to find a deeper connection into the pelvic floor, but also into the low abs. All right, so we find that connection into our midline. Good. Keep moving. You got it. Ooh, I'm a little shaky. Okay, we have five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Lower things down. We take that weight, toss it off to the side. Okay, now remember, single leg bridge. If your hamstrings feel like they're not going to make it through, they will. I promise. We're starting with the left foot down. Right leg is going to lift. Four, three, two, and one. Left leg goes down, right leg comes up. Big exhale, tuck that tailbone under, press into the left heel, lift up. Inhale, and then exhale, take it right back down. I think the single leg bridge is the one that gets me out of this circuit. Usually I do okay with a bridge with both feet down, but it's the single leg bridge that not only do I feel imbalances in my own body, but it's typically the one where my hamstrings really start to cramp up and burn out. That's okay, we make it through. <sighs> Bridges or spinal articulation like this, they are like a really core foundational movement in mat Pilates. Also in reformer, you pretty much see them in every <laughs> style of Pilates. You can do them a multitude of ways. <sighs> Good, the hip hinge or spinal articulation. This one's a little bit more of a hip hinge. Okay, we have five, four, three, two, and one, go ahead and lower all the way down, pull things in. We'll do that same single leg bridge over on the other side. Right foot goes down, left knee's gonna come up above the hip. Four, three, two, and one. Okay. Yep, we press down into the right heel, lift that left knee, big exhale, press up. Inhale and then exhale, take it right back down. For a second, I was like, is this right? <laughs> Good. Press up, pull it down. I'm not liking any of these songs. There we go. <laughs> There's a song that he does that I really like. I forget who he sings it with. Who is it? Oh, it's Lennon Stella. <laughs> it's called Summer Feelings. I'm going to link, I'll link the Charlie Puth playlist in the description. So if you like him, you can listen to it. If you hate it, no worries. <sighs> Good. We got it. Press up. Take it down. Good. We have 10 more seconds right here. <sighs> Just five, four, three, two, and one, good, take everything down. We're gonna hug those knees in. Take a deep breath, maybe stretch the legs up long, take a little hamstring stretch. Okay, we get up into a shoulder bridge. We lower and lift. We're gonna start moving through that right leg, pressing up on the left in five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, big exhale, tuck the tailbone under, roll up into that bridge, the point that you feel like you're in control, hip points are level. Press down into the left heel, right leg lifts up, nice and long, point the toe. Inhale, lower, so the knees are in line. Exhale, lift right back up. You can go a little bit lower than that if you'd like to. I don't really like to, it doesn't feel good in my body. <laughs> but try it, if you feel stable, go for it. I typically like to get things in line. It's really, you know, it's a good visual. Um, I feel like stuff like that helps you to just to connect a little bit better into the body. Good. Lower and lift. If your hips need extra support, take the hands to the hips. You got it. <sighs> okay, if you need a second, take a second. <laughs> We're gonna make it, we just have 10 seconds right here. 
All right, we go for five, four, three, two, and one. Pull everything in, drop the hips, hug the knees in. One more time. We're taking shoulder bridge. We're going to lift and lower through that left leg, okay? And then we are out of this lower body series. How do those hamstrings feel? We have four, three, two, last one. Both feet go down. We tuck the tailbone under, roll up into that bridge. Okay, ready? Shift your weight into your right heel. Make sure the tailbone stays tucked under. You're squeezing the glutes, squeezing the butt cheeks like you're squeezing onto a $100 bill. Okay, I've stalled long enough. Left leg's gonna come up, reach it up towards the ceiling, point the toes, inhale lower. Exhale, lift. I know you guys move a little bit faster than me. <laughs> I do find comfort knowing, though, that we're all, you know, we're all hitting the hamstrings together. We're all having a fun time together, right? Good. Nice deep breaths. Can you press down a little bit deeper into the upper body? Everything is active. Everything is working. Never just a leg exercise, never just a hamstring exercise. We've got the core working. We've got the arms working for five, four, three, two, and one. Lower all the way down. Bend the knee in, both feet down. Just rock a little bit side to side. Take a deep breath. You got it. From right here, we're going to roll ourselves up. We'll come up into a high kneeling position. Both knees down, grabbing onto that weight in the left hand. I'll move with you. We have three, two, and last one. Okay, weight's in the left hand. We're going to tuck the elbow into the rib cage, pull the weight to the shoulder, press it up overhead. Bend the elbow, rotate the shoulder in, bend the elbow. You're going to lower all the way down. So it's a bicep curl up to a shoulder press. Perfect, and we just keep moving through like this. I'll admit, I've really liked doing some heavier weighted upper body stuff. I think heavy upper body is what makes me feel like really strong. Good, as we take that bicep curl in, I do not want you to swing in the rest of the body, okay? Slow and controlled. Good, just for five four, three, two, and one. Good. Take everything in. We're just going to swap that over into the other side. Weight comes into your right hand. Same thing. We fix the elbow in, bend, press, pull it in and release. All right. Three, two, and one. Words were not coming out for a second. Okay. We bicep curl the elbow in. You're going to rotate the shoulder, press up bend it in, and then tuck the elbow in, bring it down, pull up, press, bend, and lower. Good. Squeeze it in, press it up, pull it down, and release. I can't remember if this is called just an, an Arnold press or if it, I don't think it's an Arnold press because I believe the Arnold press we come back to here. So it's a little just a variation on a shoulder press. <laughs> Stick with me. I am a certified personal trainer, but I don't uh, actually personal train clients. I do one-on-one -on -one stuff with Pilates. So I do know all of the basic, you know, I know all of the basic stuff. I know enough to be certified. <laughs> okay. All right. We just have five, four, three, two, and one, good. Go ahead and take everything down. Just put that weight down. Take a second. Let me readjust my sports bra so my boobies aren't falling out. Uh, we're gonna tuck the elbow into the side. I want you to take a hammer curl. So we're actually gonna go in front of the body, curling in like this, releasing to let it go. We have five, four, three, two, last one. I want you to tuck the left elbow into the rib cage and then curl across the body. Inhale to release. Big exhale, curl it in. Inhale to release. Good. And just keep breathing. Breath, 
It's one of those six principles of Pilates, right? It's going to move us through every single exercise that we do, whether we're on the mat or we're in a different kind of exercise setting at the gym, in a group class, you are constantly thinking of your breathing cues, right? Because your breath is what connects you into your core. So those big exhales, they're what help you to stabilize the core. We have five, four, three, two, last one. Good. Take things down. We're going to do that same thing on the other side, taking the weight into the right hand. Take a moment, roll the shoulders down and back. Take a deep breath. Sorry, this sports bra is like very booby for me, so I'm trying not to, <laughs> not to be crazy. Okay, we have five, four, three, two, and one, tuck that tailbone under, draw that right elbow into the rib cage, and then bicep curl across the front of the body. Inhale, release, let it go. Good. This might not have been the right playlist for this workout. <laughs> there we go. Like, I really do like Charlie Puth, but it's not always the right workout vibe. Sometimes I make that mistake. All right, we just have, oh, about five, four, three, two, last one. Good, take everything in. Put that weight off to the side from right here. We're gonna pivot down towards the mat. Hands come down. We're gonna take a push-up, up dog, child's pose variation, okay? Hands come down, knees are gonna go back. Okay, move with me. We have five, four, three, two, and one. We inhale, bend the elbows, lower down, pause. Inhale, exhale, lift the chest, up dog. Pull it down, big exhale, press away, and then reach the hips towards the heels. Pull forward, lower down, pause, lift the chest, back extension, take it down, press away, draw the belly button in, child's pose. Good, we keep moving like that. Pace is up to you. If you'd like to go a little bit slower, uh, go slower. Probably faster is not gonna be an option if we wanna continue to move with control. Right, gets a little bit sloppy if we move too fast. We don't want that controlled, precise movement always. Lift, lower, press. Draw the belly button in, hips to heels. Lower, lift, lower, press. Good. We have five, four, three, two, one. Good, take everything in. Of course, my AirPod got disconnected. We're gonna reconnect it right now. We're going right back in from the top, taking that shoulder press. Okay, if the timer goes off, go with it. Oh yeah, we have three, two, and last one. Grab that weight into the left hand. That was speed. Okay, we bicep curl the weight up to the shoulder, rotate the shoulder, press up overhead, bend the elbow, rotate down, and then extend the elbow. Bend, press, release. That was good. I don't know what it is. Every single time I film one of these workouts, I feel like my AirPod gets disconnected, and it is truly the worst thing. I think in, oh, I can't think of when it'll go up, but um, one of the workouts I filmed yesterday, I swear it disconnected like three times. If you guys don't know yet, I film these workouts like way far in advance just so I can stay on top of things. And now that I work for myself, like filming YouTube workouts is really a part of my job. So I do try and keep it pretty consistent. Okay, we have five, four, three, two, and one. Good, take everything down. We'll do that same thing on the other side. Switching the weight over into our right hand. We'll curl to press. Three, two, and one. Grab that weight in the right hand, tuck the elbow in. 
Exhale, bicep curl, rotate at the shoulder to open out, press the weight up, bend it in, rotate and release. Okay. So we're focusing on what's working at the shoulder. We bend the elbow to press up. We have to rotate the shoulder out, press. We have to bend, rotate in, tuck the elbow and release. It's a lot going on. The shoulder has a lot of ways that it can move, can elevate, depress, protract, retract, and rotate. So there's a lot going on. Okay, let's just take a second, check in with the rest of the body. Do you still feel like you're maintaining that neutral spine? If not, can you tuck the tailbone under? Can you squeeze your glutes a little bit more? Good, we have five, four, three, two, and one. Good, okay, take a second, drop the weight. We're going back in, we're gonna hammer curl across the body with the weight starting on the left side. Three, two, and one. Tuck the tailbone under, squeeze your elbow into your ribs. Exhale, we're gonna bicep curl across the body. Inhale, release. Exhale, bicep curl. Inhale, release. Good. Good, okay, press the tops of your feet down into the mat. I feel mine kind of doing weird stuff back there. Good. And your elbow is going to move a little bit away from your body as you start to curl in. That's okay. What I don't want to see is like, I just don't want to see weird stuff, you know, <laughs> curl in, release it out in and out. Good. You got it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Put that weight down, take a second, shake it out, and maybe sit the hips back, take a deep breath. Okay, we're doing so good. We're gonna make it through. <laughs> the core circuit goes by quick, so after these last two exercises, it's gonna breeze by. We have four, three, two, and one. Take that weight into the right hand. Again, tuck the tailbone under, squeeze through the glutes, pin the elbow to the rib cage, and then exhale to bicep curl across the front of the body. Inhale, release. Exhale, curl in. Inhale, release. Good. Okay. Check in with that opposite shoulder. Do you feel it starting to roll in? Okay. Can you open up just a little bit more through the chest? Can you drop the shoulders down and away from the ears? Sometimes when we're working single side, what happens is we'll get this work on the one side, but this opposite shoulder will pull up kind of to overcompensate. We want to keep everything still. The goal of Pilates, which I know we're doing a little strength training right now, but the goal of Pilates is to stabilize the shoulder, the hip and your core. Okay. So we're always thinking of that. These workouts are meant to show you how Pilates works on and off the mat, right? Good. We have three, two, last one. Toss that weight off to the side. We're going to flip down towards the mat. Hands come down. We press up, up dog, press away child's pose. This is like one of my favorite things to do because you can really move at your own pace. <sighs> okay. We have five, four, three, two, last one. Hands come down. Knees are going to go back. We inhale, pin the elbows in, lower all the way down. Inhale, exhale, lift the chest. Maybe you lift the hips and then lower all the way back down. Big exhale, press away. So you come back to that modified plank. Inhale and then exhale, draw the belly button in. Reach the hips towards the heels. Pull forward, lower, pause, lift, pause, lower, press away. Inhale, exhale, draw that belly button in. Pace is up to you. I'm going to keep it slow for my own sake. Good. If you need to hang out in that child's pose a little bit longer, you do it. We have four, three, two, 
and one could take everything down. We're gonna press ourselves all the way up. If you need a child's pose, you take it, maybe give the video a pause for just a second. Um, from right here, we get into our core circuit. For our core circuit, we're gonna take that weight into our left hand. We'll roll all the way down, lifting that weight so it comes up above the chest. We'll roll up in three, two, and one time I already went off. <laughs> We're just gonna reach both arms up, but the weight is just in your left hand. Anchor down into the heels, big exhale, press that weight up, tuck the chin to the chest, press down into your hips, and then lift that weight up over the shoulder. Okay, we lower down, weight comes down, head comes down, arms all the way up overhead. Big exhale. Okay, the weight's gonna help you, and we come up into an L when we come up into seated. Okay, lower down. Right arm's really just there has a counterbalance and we want to be careful with this weight if it starts to feel a little bit too heavy you ditch it i don't want any dumbbells falling on your face today good five four three two Last one, take everything in. We're doing that same thing on the other side, bringing the weight over into our right hand. We're gonna crunch up, arms come up into an L when we come up to seated. 10 more seconds right here, so just take a second, take a breath. Okay, we're gonna head in in four, three, two, last one. When you're ready, you grab onto your weight. <laughs> this side's gonna be harder for me, I already know it. Okay, weight comes into that right hand. We reach both arms up above the shoulders. Anchor the heels down into the mat, anchor the tailbone down. Big exhale, tuck the chin to the chest, roll up, reaching the right arm up, left arm forward, okay? Exhale, we roll it back as we lower the arm down. Head comes down, arms up above the chest. Big exhale, tuck the chin to the chest, press that right arm up, left arm forward, and then we roll it back down. Good. It's not going to feel like it, but the weight is helping us. <sighs> I'm just going to keep on moving nice and slow. Ooh. <laughs> okay, 10 more seconds right here. <sighs> we just have five, four, oh, three, two, and one. Know your limits, you guys. If that weight becomes too much, you toss it, okay? The good part about Pilates, we learn how things feel in our body, so we know what our limits really are. Okay, three more exercises, then we're out of here. We're gonna lay back down onto our mat, take a scissor kick in three, two, and one. Lift those legs up. You can turn the toes out, heels in. I'm gonna keep my head down on the mat. We'll lower your right leg down, exhale up through center as you lower the left. Switch and switch, switch and switch. Good, if you start to feel the low back is lifting, just don't drop your legs as far. We wanna to try to keep the pelvis in one stable position right here. So if you start to feel it tipping too far forward or even pulling back the opposite way, we've gone a little bit too far. Switch and switch, you got it, switch and switch. Option to come up into an upper body crunch if you'd like to. I don't want to, so I'm not going to, but you can. You can either go hands behind the head or hands out by your hips. We got it, good. Just for five, four, three, two, and one, good. Hug your knees into your chest. Take a moment, you got it. Okay, next up, we're gonna lift the legs up. We'll just do little Peter Pan legs in four, three, two, and one. Again, I'm gonna keep my head down, lower your legs about to 45, whatever that looks like for you. We'll inhale, bend that right knee in, pull the foot to the inside of the left leg. Exhale, shoot it out, squeeze the heels together. Inhale, left knee pulls in. Exhale, we shoot it out, squeeze the heels in and out. Good, in and out. Perfect, same kind of thing with the scissor kick. If you feel your pelvis is tipping you forward, your low back is lifting off of the mat, you, my friend, have gone a little bit too far. Good, so what you can do is just lift the legs right up above the hips, do the same thing from right here. We go in, out, 
in, out. Good. You want to come up into an upper body crunch? Be my guest. Hands behind the head, hands out by the hips. Whatever you like best, just make sure you're maintaining length at the back of the neck, right? So we're not putting pressure right there. Good. We just have five, four, three, two, and one. Hug the knees in. Take a moment. Rock a little bit from side to side. Take a deep breath. <sighs> what you want? I kind of want to do the rollover. So let's do it for our final exercise. Legs are going to go all the way out in front of you, hands down by the sides. I'll walk you through in two and one big exhale, lift the legs. Okay, my mic's going to get smashed. We'll lift the hips, push the legs up overhead. Okay, separate the feet, flex the feet, and then we start to lower down through the spine. Tailbone comes all the way down. We bring the heels together, lower the legs to the mat. Big exhale, we lift. Press the legs up overhead, separate the feet, flex, and then lower all the way down. Good, bring the heels together, lower it down. You got it, big exhale, lift up. Separate the feet, flex, lower all the way down. Nice and slow, making sure you're pressing evenly into the backs of the shoulders and into the hands. It's all core strength right here. Separate the feet, flex, Okay, are you stable in both sides? You'll know right away. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Hug your knees into your chest, rock a little bit side to side. That was a mean way to wrap up, but I like a rollover sometimes, you know? Just in that mood. Happens like once a month. I'm like, you know, let's do a rollover. Okay, hug those knees in, rock a little bit from side to side, take some big deep breaths. Good, okay, when you're ready, legs are gonna go all the way out, arms are gonna reach all the way back. We'll let that low back arch off of the mat. <sighs> Good, imagine you're being stretched out on like a torture device. Arms are pulling, legs are pulling. Big inhale, find some length. Good, exhale, let it go. Good, let's do one more, big inhale. And then we'll exhale, let it go. Good, from right here, exhale, lift those arms up above the shoulders, tuck the chin to the chest, roll all the way up. Good, once you come up to seated, just scooch back a little bit. We'll keep the legs out in front of us. We inhale, circle the arms around and up. Exhale, hinge at the hips, forward fold, reaching down for the feet. Good, big inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, let it go, forward fold. Good, when you're ready, inhale, roll all the way up. We're just gonna do that one more time and I'll link a longer stretch video if you'd like it. Reach those arms up overhead, exhale, hinge at your hips, forward fold, reaching down for the feet. Inhale, lift up halfway, exhale, let it go. Your next inhale, you roll all the way up to seated. Take any other stretches that you feel like you need, but you guys made it all the way to the end. Good work today, as always. Remember, you're awesome. You could do anything you put your mind to, and I will see you in our next video. I just can't resist.